Hello YouTube, welcome back. As you can see in my channel, we are not in Makerverse this time. We are using a different software altogether, and this is my experience with this software. Um, in the past, I have used um BC Face. I've also used XR Animator, and then I was using a mixture of those to also use in the Makerverse. However, as I said in a video in the past, the was a bit of a problem with how XR Animator ran and how smooth it ran when playing other games and being inside the Mikoverse and making all the environments and stuff like that. So I had a bit of a look around um, and I decided to have a look and see what I've done. As you can see, I've updated my model to include the halo that I made ages ago and also the horn that I made. Um, and I'm wearing red clothes now instead of the normal grey ones. This is a completely different thing than when I was using my old model, because my old model's only a PC face. Um, however, what I am using is called Warudo. Um, it is on Steam and it is very well supported. L similar to the XR Animator, it has something called Media Pipe, which allows Face tracking, such as that, it allows a lot of availability, especially when you transfer your B-Roid model into blend shapes and use AR kits blend shapes, and it also has very smooth hand tracking, as you can see. We and one of my favourite things about this program is I currently have. A stream deck mainly for personal use, I just want to go on. And then when I was stream every now and again, I used to use it. But now that I'm more frequent and I'm using this, the nice thing about Waru though is it has support from Stream Deck, so I can do many things with Stream Deck. Um, an example of such is I can toggle my horn and hello. Pretty easy, and then if I want, I can only wear the halo. Take off the halo, wear the horn, horn, halo, swap them. Simple as that. Very nice. And all this doesn't need to be separate DRMs either. It can all be in the one model, and you just hide the separate meshes as long as it's a different mesh on the model. Very nice. And I've also got other things, got different sets of clothing. So I've got my casual clothes, and I can go full cam with a press of a button on my stream deck. Keeps coming to say Steam Deck because I've also got one of them. But another thing that I decided to add on to thing was I went online and found some free models um, and had them. So I've got a site if I really wanted the site. If you go back, let's go back to my clothing and put on my red suit and put my horn and tail on. I've got a site now if I really wanted to use a site and just have it on in the background, I can do so. If I want a demon wing, I can do that. This is my old demon wing that I made. It's not very good. It just exists. So um, that's me. Um, and then I've also got a bit of a weird one, such as a tire, which I thought would be a bit fun. I had a bit of a problem with the tire and the sight and the shaders and things like that. Trying to get it to work on M tune, and then I gave up on that. And then it was a bit weird, but I finally figured it out. The definition on the rims aren't great, but you know, a tire is a tire. So I can put it on, take it off, pretty easy. Then I've got a katana, but you can't really see the katana very well. Oh, I guess you can. I can't see it very well because on the software it's black background, but in um, in OBS you can see it perfectly fine. And I thought I'd showcase all these different options and how I actually like them. Not just that, it's got very nice tracking. Touch my chin, touch my nose, ears, head, chest, stomach. Obviously, stomach, shoulders. See how nice the tracking is. And it's very smooth. And even when I was playing some more intensive games, it was still working. So I've not tested out the more intensive games with Mika Versha, but it seems promising. And he also recorded some to do some testing. So it seems very promising. So in another video, I had a bit of a struggle and I was wondering what I can do. But it turns out I'm already in place where I can do it. 
and I've got one button just to add all the accessories so I can do whatever I want. Um, this was mainly just a quick little um, rundown of um, why I like it. I'll probably make another video soon explaining more about the program and how I've sort of set it up and that. Um, I might do a full video similar to how I done with XR Animate and the Metaverse, from Vroid to um, Blender and so on. I might I might do a full length video because people seem to enjoy that for the XR Animator. And let me just say, what I do seems a lot better media pipe supported. It seems a lot smoother and a lot more thing. That might just be for my machine. So I hope you enjoyed learning about where I went in the future. And if you want to look into it, you can. But I'm almost certain over the next couple of days, I'll try and um, do a bit of a recording on um, what's next. And I also want to say the microphone setup is a bit different and hopefully it should be a bit better and a bit more um, easier to hear and understand me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe.